Connection. I'm Nate the Great. I'm Mom Spoiler. Dave Jaggerman Smith. And we're going to be doing a uh, unboxing slash review of Bandai's Thundercats. I believe it's Bandai. Bandai? Touche. Bandai. Mm. Bandai, Bandai, Tomato, Tomato. Most known for Power Rangers. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They own Power Rangers. All right. So um, I got into... Well, there's obviously the, the Thundercats from the 80s that we all know and love. Um, but I got into the new Thundercats cartoon, which it only they only picked it up for like a season. But I liked it. It was good. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it. You didn't get a chance no. to see it? You didn't even try. Kind of, kind of weird with me being Tiger Man. He thought I'd be all about it. <laughs> you know, but. Yeah, and Miles watched a couple, but you didn't really like it either, huh? I liked it a little. You liked it a little? What'd you like about it? I liked um, the characters and how a little boy turned into a gigantic boy. And just like, in like one little, and like in a crash. when, And it was just like a few seconds. But he just grew up instantly? Uh-huh. Was, that was kind of awesome. And you wish you could grow up like that? Yeah. And, and start paying bills. I know, just, start paying bills. Just grow up in a... Get a job. Tiny, just crash, grow up into a little tiny thing, and then be a man. No, you gotta enjoy You gotta stay golden, pony boy. Yeah. yeah. You gotta stay golden. You gotta stay little while you can, because growing up sucks. Wait. Miles Pony Boy. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Pony Wait. Boy. Okay. The this particular line here, um, I watched the show, I liked it. They ended it after one season. But um I think they put out a really good very articulate uh well for the most part very articulate batch of uh, action figures for the show. Okay. And uh, you know, they're well built. They're well constructed. Um, I was able to see a loose one. I've picked up. We were going to uh, Big Lots, yeah. and uh, inside Big Lots they had uh, Panthro, Lino, Tigra, Chitara, and Mumra for like three bucks each. So I was like, "Wow, that's cool! Fifteen bucks, I can pick up most of the line." So I got them all, and. Uh, like I said, they've got great articulation and whatnot, but I was thinking, wow, that's cool, you know? Because it wasn't, like, super high up on my collection yeah. scale when they came out, but at three bucks a pop, I was all over yeah. it. And uh, One thing, though, the, the littler figures, the Wily Kit and Wily Cat, the arms fall off pretty easily. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'll never have to live that yeah. thing because I'm going to keep these in the card. Um, there's so many of them. I was able to pick up a lot of them in a steal. And then since then, I've just been looking for deals yeah. to get the rest of them to put them together. I was able to get the Thunder Tank for like 10 bucks when it originally retailed for like 30 Yeah. And uh, and we have this unboxing today that I have for the actual uh, Thundercats Lair. I'm guessing it's He-Man. He yeah, that's a guess. No, I don't have anything in the mail other than my uh, CGC. From WonderCon, which uh, news on the horizon is soon. that that's coming soon. I hope so. Yeah, so do I. I'm waiting for my call sketch. All right, it looks like there is not the best packing on a on a complete boxed toy here. There's like zero clearance in the box. Don't they know it's a collector's item? <laughs> yeah, one of the corners got smashed. But Thundercats layer. And, uh... With exclusive clear lino. Tigra. Tigra. Same thing. Tigra turns invisible. Really? Yeah, that's one of his powers. I didn't know that. Yeah, Tigra turns invisible. It's kind of a shitty power. Invisible? Mirage did it better. Mirage did it better. Yeah, he had the energon, energon cubes. But, uh, you know, I was able to pick this up for 17 bucks on eBay shipped. So, you know, that's... I think it's the biggest piece to the, uh, to the set right now. There's a couple pieces I need to get yet, but not very many. So, 
Let me do some close-ups of this, and then I'll show. I'll do a couple close-ups of the figures to finish this off. Okay, how's the light on that? Freaking terrible. Okay. There's the box. Comes with the clear lion or the clear tigra. Dave's got me confused now. <laughs> you can see some of the other accessories they have and features that they have for the toy line itself. Um, all of the original ones back here I have. I just want to say that uh, I don't know. I'd feel ripped off with the the figure that's included, clear tigra. I mean, at least the Thunder Tank comes with Snarf, dude. And that's the only way you can get Snarf. And that that's weird, the Thunder you know? Tank, it was like, 10 bucks. What does Snarf has to do with the Thunder Tank? He doesn't drive it. <laughs> well, according to this picture of him in the cockpit, he does. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like I've ever seen a, a Thundercat cartoon anyways. And this is Green the Warrior. I picked this up. This is a pretty rare one. There weren't a lot of these out on the shelves. Well, think about it. Would you want Gru the Warrior? <laughs> Mumra. That one's actually a really cool figure. The Ever Living. Panthro. Now in the in the show he got his arms cut off. Hmm. Yeah, that like like he put his arms into a, like a almost like a stargate, like a dimensional vortex. And he still got the nunchucks. Cool. And they've got really good articulation. Uh knee, ball and socket in the uh, hips and shoulders. Looks like the head's only got uh two way articulation, but So Pantho doesn't have arms? No, he ended up getting like a Designing himself some like cybernetic arms, kind of like Jax from Mortal Kombat. Uh, more like Reed Richards. He had cybernetic Reed Richard arms. So they stretched. Lionel, yeah, they stretched and did all kinds of stuff. I was like, Reed Richard has arms. <laughs> they stretched. <laughs> so yeah, you know, Reed Richards isn't known for his cyber cybernetic arms. Yeah, and that's why I was kind of confused. Chitara. But like I said, it was a. This has been a really Tigra, a really cheap way to come up with an entire line of uh. And all, although they aren't the original ones from the '80s, which are still pretty pricey now, I can have boxed original set of these at a really super affordable price. Wily Cat. And Mumra in his decrepit mummy form. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on Thundercats as a whole? Did you watch the original show? No. So, you just never were exposed to Thundercats too much, huh? Nah, not really. I mean, G.I. Joe was my cartoon, so it was Ninja Turtles. But did you, did you, uh, so you didn't venture out too much? <clears throat> Not too much. Um, and it's surprising because I'm really a big fan of, like, anamorphic characters. Um, like Bucky O'Hare, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, did you, did you get a chance to watch, did you follow the Master of the Universe at all? Yeah, a little bit, but Thundercats was just kind of... Well, it's also a little bit older than you, too. Yeah, I mean, I I seen like one episode, but I wasn't really a fan. Well, I mean, how old were you in eighty four, eighty five? Negative one year old. There you go. <laughs> so I mean, it's gonna be an older thing. Why are you playing with knives? So you're not supposed to play with them. You're supposed to run with them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's, it, it'd be kind of hard. I mean, there wasn't things that went like Johnny Quest. 
It's a little bit older than my time. I was in Johnny Quest. Yeah, exactly. Like, Venture Brothers, on the other hand. <laughs> you know, it, Johnny Quest seemed like it could have been cool, but, mm -hmm. you know, I was into things that were closer to my time. So, that's a whole, like, go, you didn't do the GoBot cartoon. Nope, no GoBots. Transformers. Transformers, G.I. Joe. So, you you missed a whole bunch of uh, of those 80s things. Probably. No Silverhawks? No, no. Partly metal, partly real? Yeah, no. No, man. There's a lot of cool stuff you missed out on, Inspector man. Gadget. Inspector Gadget was cool. It was all right. It was legit. Yeah. But there's a bunch of 80s stuff that, you know, Dave was probably a little bit too young to be able to get a chance to <laughs> see. What's your favorite stuff from the... You like, let's see. You got a chance to watch Thundercats, right? Yeah. You got to see some He-Man, right? Yeah. Did you like better He-Man or Thundercats? Thundercats. Really? Why? Because they have more people, and of course, He Man, it's only like a few people. Well, He Man had a lot of people. I think when I tried to play He Man for him, when they when he would do his transformations and they would play that stock footage over yeah. and over and over again in the episode, it just lost his attention. You know, whereas this incarnation of the Thundercats. By the power of Grayskull, I am. Spoiler alert! What? <laughs> Okay, so, you know, an affordable way to come up with a, you know, a cool, if you want to be able to get a whole collection, I mean, you can pick up the entire line if you're, if you're careful for a hundred bucks. Yeah, I don't know, me, I'm uh, looking to complete my Bucky O'Hare toy line. Well, how much, what have you got of it so far? <laughs> the Toad Air Marshal. <laughs> <laughs> the Toad Air Marshal? How many toys were in the line? Eleven plus a vehicle or two. Nothing too big. It was only on for like a season. Were they? Are they out there now? Not on eBay. Not on eBay. They are. Oh, they are. They are. Are, they, are you able to get them in like a box condition? Probably. I mean, I got my toy air marshal that fat collectibles on ball and Euclid <laughs> uh, for fifteen dollars. Very reasonable price. Awesome. Thank you, Fat Collectible. <laughs> On Ball and Euclid. In Anaheim, California. The Westminster store is a little bit better there. <laughs> I beg to differ. There's a really cool guy that works there, but it's like a third the size of the Anaheim one. It's not what you do with the size. It's... No, wait. It's not the size. It's what you do with... I fucked that up. <laughs> um, oh, well, that'll conclude our Thundercats episode. So, like I said... 100 bucks, you can pick up the whole line, and they're pretty cool figures, and it's a good way to, you know, reminisce on the 80s if you want, and, you know, you can, you can't, but 100 bucks, you can pick up the whole line, and I've just about got it. There's a couple obscure things, I think there's like a lizard tank in it. Yeah, yeah that, that actually goes for quite a bit, the lizard tank. Yeah, so there's like the lizard tank, and there's, also there's another, a Mumrod mobile. Yeah, there's also another uh, villain, and a couple here and there, like. You know, knock off things, you know. And if maybe Tiger Cat or a Thundercat's not quite your thing, check out the Fat Collectibles Westminster store. We got some killer minifigures in. Of uh, Thundercats? No. Oh. Maybe oh. minifigs, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we got some cool stuff coming up for different episodes, mm -hmm. so we'll wrap this up for Collection Connection. I'll make it great. I'm Mom Spoiler. Dave Jaggerman Smith. And we'll see you soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. For a chance to win models. No! <laughs>